Okay, so first of all, I would like to take this opportunity to apologise to Shaol360 for how long it's taken me to make this sort of video. Like, seriously, you asked me ages ago, you've asked me twice now, and I'm just, I feel so ashamed. I'm hanging my head in embarrassment. Um, so, yes, hi guys, this was requested quite a while ago by Shower360. Uh, she wanted me to do a video of all my rare CDs. I kind of see rare CDs with lots of different levels. There are the CDs where you can no longer buy from K-Pop Mart or K-Pop Town or any of those places. Uh, but you can still buy them off eBay and Amazon. Um, there's the ones where you can only buy them off eBay and Amazon second hand. And then there's the ones that you can still buy on eBay and Amazon, but for a ridiculously large amount of money. So, um, yeah, I don't really have that many. I have a lot of second hand CDs that um, I can't buy off of like K-Pop Mart and K-Pop Town. Um, I'm going to do a separate video about those. But this is about the rare CDs. And now, there are two different types of rare CDs in this video. There are the ones where I would advise you to kind of get ASAP while you still can. Which is why you can see my Girls' Generation I've Got A Boy CDs in front of you. Now, I bought these back in 2013. When they first came out, um, I got Hyoyeon's version first of all, it, it got delivered to me randomly, so I was very excited. Uh, it wasn't originally my plan to get them all, but it kind of just ended up being that way. I kind of got two at a time, and, and then I kind of maybe took about six months before I got all of them. I'm really glad that I did. You can still buy them on eBay, but for different prices. Um, so I did see a Hyoyeon version on there for uh, like £15, which was really good. But like the likes of Jessica's or the even Taeyeon's, you're looking at over sort of £30. So if you are missing them, if you're going to be collecting them, I would try and see if you could get them like sooner rather than later. That being said, it's really unusual because CDs from companies like SM or YG are... I would normally say, don't worry, they'll soon be there and they'll still be there in a year's time because they don't go out of print because they're a large company and they have enough copies for everyone, definitely. Uh, it's the smaller companies that you have to worry about. Um, and I would also mention that if you are a fan of any kind of Pledis artist, um, Pledis, the home of After School and newest and more newly the Seventeen group, um, I would get their stuff sooner rather than later because Pledis are notorious for never, ever stocking enough CDs. Um, before I kind of go into the rare ones, I will just have, uh, I just do kind of a couple of ones. So, Sea Clown. So, I love Sea Clown. I am a big fan of Sea Clown. I have all their albums, and a while ago, I went looking for Sea Clown albums just to see because I could, I found out that they were no longer available to buy on K pop Mart and K pop Town and all those kind of things. And I went on eBay and I couldn't find a single one. They weren't there at all. And I was like, oh my god, I was so relieved. I've had a look recently and actually they're on there now. But these these three are on there for sort of a fairly good price. I'd say fairly, they're all over 20. But they're not, they're not like this one. This one is like, I don't know why, but for some reason this one is really, really expensive. I mean, they're going for like 40, 50 pounds on, on eBay, so I don't really know why, but they are on there. Um, so, I mean, I know that they're expensive, but if you if you love Sea Clown, um, I probably wouldn't buy that, spend that much on Sea Clown. I'm glad I got them when I did. I bought them for um, a good price, um, brand new, so I, I bought them all off of K-Pop Town and K-Pop Mart and Yes Asia. And they were all like ten pounds, so I'm really glad I bought them when I did. Um, and then I also want to just say about this one, Angel Story. And I bought this one three or four months ago because uh, I was a late bloomer to AOA, and I paid like seven, eight pounds. Um, there's only a couple of copies on eBay now, um, and they are like over twenty pounds. I think they're even closer to thirty. And I want to kind of just mention how quickly this can happen. Because I bought this one a few months ago, like I said. And already, after that short space of time, they're going to be difficult to get hold of. Imagine at Christmas time, what could happen? 
So I would say that if you if you have an artist from a small company and you want to get their CDs and they're still at a good price, get them now if you can because you know in a few months time they could be extortionate. So I'm I'm quite shocked by that actually to be honest, because all the other AOA stuff isn't isn't too bad. It's a normal sort of price. So I think perhaps maybe that's the way the kind of AOA stuff is going. They're from FNC as well. As much as I love FNC, I'm a big FT Island and CM Blue fan. A lot of FT Island albums are difficult to get hold of, especially their first few. So I definitely re recommend getting Angel Story if you can for a good price. Or if not getting Angel Story, then getting their other stuff before they turn into Angel Story. Right, okay, out of the way. <laughs> I'm going to talk about my rare CDs. So, um, first of all, I'll do this one. Uh, my camera was doing something weird then, I hope it's okay. Speaker is a group that's on a very small company. They're also incredibly underrated. They're one of the best groups in K pop, and I would never get bored of listening to this group because they are amazing. That being said, I went on eBay this evening just to see how much they are, and there was not a single copy on eBay. For, for painkiller there wasn't even a copy for any of the other stuff on there unless I was searching wrong I kept although I kept typing in speaker and it kept coming up with the Spice Girls so I was like oh man but yeah these are really really rare um, I you could probably still get it on Amazon but maybe for um, a difficult price hang on yeah, I've just checked. The rest of the speaker stuff is ridiculous. Isn't they're on there, but there's, the prices are ridiculous. So yeah, um, forewarning: if you ever find any speaker stuff for a good price going forward, then good luck and well done. <laughs> I'm really glad that I got one, but I don't think I'll be able to get any of the others because they're so expensive. Now um, I want to talk about my uber uber rare um, CDs. So first of all, I mentioned Pledis, newest face and now I bought this one what 2013 so I've had it for two years and I bought it for a normal price um, so now you can probably get you can you have to pay about 40 pound for for a new one um, maybe even more there was a time when you had to pay a lot more so they're a little bit cheaper but um, yeah I think I found one um, on on eBay the other day and it was £25 so it's a second hand one but man it looked like it had been attacked by the Daleks or something it was ridiculous so um, yeah keep an eye on eBay sometimes you can get a second hand one in good condition for a good price but if you want a brand new good luck that's all I'm going to say uh, which is such a shame I mean Pledis are so um, they're not even that small of a company I mean I know they're a small company but they're not like teeny tiny I mean they're, they're home to after school for crying out loud um, I also have um, newest special edition which is their second mini album comes with a ridiculously thick photo book and this is like one of my most favorite things ever um, it took me a long time to pluck up the courage to buy this um, I paid 40 pounds for it um, I've had a look actually on eBay there's only one and I, I think it's second hand, it's not in very good condition um, it's a little bit more expensive than I paid, well it's a lot more expensive than I paid um, so it, it, it's such a shame, that's what I worry about it's a, the fans of like later fans who want to get it and then they, they can't because it's too expensive it's just ridiculous and I feel really really happy that I have it but at the same time really gutted if any of you guys who would really want either one of these two um, yeah, it's really, really sucks. However, there are a few others located here that are my rarest ones. The, the ones that I'm going to show you now, you cannot get for under £100. <laughs> like, seriously. I had no idea. I went and I, I went on eBay and looked up the, these, what, five things, and I was like, what the? So the first one, and this is one of the most staggering ones, is Crayon Pop, ba ba ba. There is one on eBay now, and it is over a hundred pounds, like a hundred and twenty pound or something like that. And it is that's ridiculous. Why would you pay that much for a uh, just? Uh, I don't know. I know it's rare, but why put it on a listing that for that much? No one's going to buy it for that much. So. Um, I bought this one um, in 2013. It, it took a, maybe a couple of months 
before I realised I wanted it. I paid like seven or eight pounds for it, um, brand new, and uh, I'm really glad that I did because it's it's worth an awful lot more now. So I'm going to I'm going to cling on to this for as much as possible. I might sell it one day, but I really love Crayon Pop an awful lot. Their music's cool, but I'm not going to buy any of their other albums. I'm just going to cling on to this one because all their other stuff is available. So. Else. And then I'm going to show you one solitary Big Bang related item, and that is this one, GD's Coup d'etat. At last time I looked on eBay, well over a hundred pounds for one of these. Now um, I bought this one off of Yes Asia, um, and I did the usual thing. Yes Asia are awesome for stuff like this. If something's limited, they're always the last place that sell out. So I thought that they'd all sold out and then someone messaged me to say actually I've just seen them on eat they're still on Yes Asia. Go on Yes Asia. And I went on Yes Asia and they were still on there. And I was like, yes, I ordered mine and then like two hours later, I'm sorry, this product is no longer in in stock. I was like, thank goodness for that. Um and mine is also marked, so they all supposedly are are numbered. Oh, oh my word. Hang on. I'm just like destroying the place. They're all numbered by G Dragon himself, apparently. 834. I don't know whether I could see G GD kind of sitting there and doing that. Um, it's the sort of thing I think I would expect him to do, but he's he's so busy. How would he have time to do that? I don't know. But anyway, never mind. That's what he's supposed to have done, so yeah. And then the last few things to show you are actually all related to the same group. And all of these are on eBay for under uh, for over a hundred pounds. And it's a group from a smaller company, but boy oh boy are they getting very, very popular. Um a little sign's just flashed up on my screen. So yeah, BTS now. Uh, BTS now in Thailand, their first photo book which came out last year. And um, again, I had kind of a stressful thing because it was, oh gosh, it was around about my birthday and um, all the places were sold out, even Yes Asia was sold out. And I was like, ah, oh my God, no, I really want it. And then um, I found one on eBay and my husband pinged me some money for my birthday and said, happy birthday, buy what you want. And so I bought this. I was like, oh, thank goodness. I paid like about £30 for it. Um, it comes with a really gorgeous thick photo book and stuff like that, and I'm um, I'm really happy that I did because they're they're over well over a hundred pounds. There's even some over two hundred pounds as well. So I'm like right, keeping this one nice and secret and nice and safe. So yes, um, I also timed this one very well. I don't know if you guys remember, but I only got this one what a couple of months ago, and. Um, I was like, ah, in panic. I got it off Yes Asia at the right time because, like, a few days later, it was out of stock. So, um, again, this one I can only see them on eBay now for over a hundred pounds. So, yes, I really timed it so perfectly with these two. Like, it's ridiculous how how t perfect I timed it. I'm so glad that I have it. But it also makes me feel very worried about BTS stuff. I don't have their Memories DVD yet, so I'm going to have to make sure I get that on soon. <laughs> um, and then the last thing to show you, possibly one of the rarest things again, is their School Love Affair Special Edition. I really can't understand how how this has become out of stock and I feel so gutted for people as well It's because it's so beautiful I paid £25 for this one I pre-ordered it I think when it came out I even remember thinking bloody hell £25 it better be sod and worth it and it is I mean the packaging is amazing the discs are amazing everything's amazing and I'm so glad that I have it um, I really am I'm putting it there because it's really heavy and it's the sort of thing I pick it up and then I'm like oof <laughs> um, so yeah, three things from BTS, and they don't have much stuff, but you know, a lot of their, these kind of stuff are really difficult to get, so I'm really glad that I have them. So yeah, I have five or six things that are super rare. Um, there are a couple of things I would love to own, actually all Big Bang related items um, that I would love to own that I know I will never get. So I know the frustration when you want something and you can't have it. It's absolutely horrible. So I'm kind of interested. I've shown you my rare stuff. I'd be interested to know what rare stuff you guys have. Leave a comment below. Tell me if you enjoyed this video. 
Um, I'm going to do a video about buying second-hand CDs, so that's the other level of rare. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Till next time, ciao!